Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make a white background completely white in Premiere Pro. Okay, here we are in Premiere Pro, and as you can see, a pretty nice white background there. But it wasn't always the story. Let me show you some of these clips. Like, for instance, here's one of our voice artists, Philip, and uh, he's, he's ready to go. He's speaking at many different camera angles. But if I remove all the magic that I've put in, you'll see what the background looked like initially. So I'm just going to delete uh, some of this and uh, also this as well. Then I'm going to go in here and I'll show you how I did all this in a moment and remove that. Now, uh, it might not look too bad to you as we did film against a white curtain, but you'll definitely see if you look up the top some crinkles there in the curtain. And that's not really what we want in the finished product. So what I'm going to do first and foremost in Premiere, I've got my session here, my sequence ready to go, and I want to go into effects because I'm not editing at the moment. I am doing fine grain effects on the piece of video here where I want Philip to be on a completely still white background. Uh, so first of all, let me go into the uh, Lumetri color, and I'm just going to show you uh, by dropping the exposure down a little bit. In fact, let's reset the exposure because I've done some magic settings here as well. Boom. And now you definitely see <laughs> there's a problem with that video. That's not going to look good on YouTube, is it? So how do we fix it? Well, the very first thing is to, of course, go into the effects workspace and then over into Lumetri Color, uh, where you can start playing about with little bits uh, to make it look a lot better. And as you could see, just in a matter of tweaking a few of these dials, I already had it looking uh, fairly acceptable. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to take the exposure up just a little bit because this is powerful. This is super powerful, this one. If I crank this dial up, whoa, it blows him right out. And if I pull it down, well, you can hardly see Philip anymore. Uh, so let's move it up, probably only by about about 0.6. Where I'm really going to go to town is I'm going to crank the highlights right up. As you can see, the highlights are really blowing out that white background, but not having too much of an effect on our subject there. In fact, if, if anything, they're lightening up the subject and making him look a whole lot better. Uh, same with the whites. Let's crank them up. Uh, now you'll see as I crank them up, it does reduce the background even more. So it's starting to look nice and white. The only problem is we're kind of blowing Philip out and uh, making him look like he comes from Essex. <laughs> <laughs> we want to probably reduce the contrast a little bit uh, by just pulling this down to about probably minus 50 there. And as you can see, maybe even a little less than minus 50. Now we've got a much more reasonable color balance on our subject matter. OK, and you can you can play with the blacks as well if you want, uh, just to get them looking quite nice. Uh, same with the shadows, but I wouldn't reduce them too much. Otherwise, you're going to start uh, increasing the focus on the background, which is something you don't want. So I'll probably leave them out now, that's Lumetri color correction uh, to immediately get your white background, assuming you did film on a white background, uh, looking fairly good. Remember what we started with, it was pretty awful. So that's already a great start. The next thing I will want to do is uh, go in, and I might go back to editing to show you this, uh, because here in my uh, sort of project area, I'm going to create something, not not a bin, sorry. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a color mat. So there it is, a color mat uh, is, is basically just one block of color uh, that you can put on your video. Uh, again, we filmed in 4K, so 3840 by 2160 is fine, 25 frames per second, absolutely good, yep, cool. Now, uh, black would be good if you're on a black background, red if you're on red. If you did a green screen, green might be good, but we're going to go for white, which is FFFFFFF. Uh, so click OK to that. Uh, call it, you can you can call it color matte. You can call it white matte if you want, whatever. Uh, right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this uh, in the background here, which won't make any difference at the moment because it's in the background, but I'm going to use a track mat in a moment to draw around Philip, and that's where it will reveal that white background. If I don't put it there in the background, it's going to be a black background, which we don't want, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to drop this on top as well, just like that, and it blocks out Philip. Uh, this is important, and I'll show you why in a moment. So. Now I'm going to toggle that eye there, so I'm going to take that off, otherwise I won't be able to see Philip. And then I'm going to go back to effects, and I'm going to go to effects up here, and I'm going to search for the track uh, matte key, which is right there. Take it, drop it onto Philip's clip, and you do this at any clip that you're trying to, uh, to key out so that you get that lovely white background. Once I've done that, you'll see the track matte key appears there with a few tools, uh, an eclipse, uh, four-point polygon, 
or of course the free draw, which is going to be easiest for me. Once I select that, it gives me the opportunity to mask and draw around Philip. I'm going to do it just a little further out. I'm not going to be really tight into Philip, and I'll show you why. Uh, if I go out here and start drawing very, very roughly around him, don't need to be too accurate, especially as my Lumetri color has already done a lot of the work for me. So drawing this lovely track mat key around Philip and complete it there by doing that. Okay, cool. That's all done. Now we're going to invert this. We're going to reverse this. And then we're going to pay attention to video three, which is where I dropped that important white color mat, the second one. As you can see, it applies it right there. If I take that video three off, you'll see the background comes back. Very subtle change, but it is there. So video three is what we're looking at. And of course, video one is that white background because if we didn't have video one, we'd have a black background, see? So we want a white background there. Uh, now that's good, but if I, um, if I come off there and you can see, yeah, you can definitely see the outline there. It doesn't look very good, does it? So that is where a feather comes into play. Let's feather this up. Let's feather it up loads. Can you see that? As I'm feathering, now you're seeing that Philip's starting to glow in the bottom there. So uh, probably around there is going to be good. But yeah, it doesn't look good because we've got a little bit of bleed through at 395 feather. So what I'm going to do is go back, click on my mask. I'm just going to adjust this slightly. So let's pull that down a little bit so that's not bleeding onto Philip and uh, over here and over here and up here like that. That's cool. Uh, and his head is a little bit feathered as well. <laughs> Sorry to say you've got a feathered head, Philip. Uh, there we go. Let's uh, let's move this right out. Uh, so we have some clean looking head there. Uh, right. OK, cool. How does that look? How does that look to you? Does that look good? That looks fairly good, doesn't it? We could always take the feather up a little bit more if we wanted the, the fade to be really soft. But I think already that's looking a million times better than it did at the start. So to recap, remember what we did in this video to create a perfectly white background for our subject. First and foremost, we went in and we played with the Lumetri color in the effects workspace. We tweaked the exposure, the highlights and the whites up to max, took the contrast down a bit so we didn't get the colors all uh, kind of saturated and blown out. Uh, then we went and created a color mat, a white color mat, and we dragged that in on video one and video three. Our subject is on video two. Uh, we then went into effects. We used a track mat key, pulled it onto video two, which is the video of the subject. Um, we use the free tool, free draw Bezier to uh, draw all around our subject like that. We feathered it up uh, loads, inverted it, reversed it, uh, put the mat onto video three, which was a white mat, and of course had video one with a white mat. Otherwise, we got a black one like that, as you can see. I think that looks quite cool as well. Uh, and then there we go in a few simple steps. You'll get used to this and you'll get very fast at this and you'll be doing this in no time on multiple clips. You have a perfectly white background.